Okay, this is a little show and tell of how to uh, do surface mount LEDs and make your own light board. We've got a piece of Clover House printed circuit board. This is number 265. It's a little bit thicker. I use 263 normally, but I'll just use, use this one. We've got some resistors, which are 1.5K or 1500 ohms. And we've got some 0603 surface mount LEDs and a razor saw. Now I'll clamp this down. We're going to make three cuts in this for the razor saw. Okay, so there's the three cuts that we've just made. We're working with surface mount LEDs. The little solder pads on each end of the uh, of the lead, they they're oxidised. As soon as they touch that atmosphere, they're oxidised. So we're going to use Cars Orange Flux. Orange Flux doesn't um, have the acid in it there so you don't so need to wash it flux away. And I use a triple O paintbrush and we just go and put put some on each of the uh, either side of the uh, the cuts we've made and you can see how the copper is being cleaned up straight away. So we're preparing the copper and all the oxidizing and rubbish that's been on it. There's the three surface mount leads and you can see we've got an anode and a cathode the uh, cathode is the negative side and the anode is the positive so the bottom of the little T on these uh, surface mount leads is usually the uh, the cathode but you can check that there's a bigger sign so you got I'm using warm whites so there's the cathode and that little black area in the middle there that's that's the green on these so that's um, the cathode and the anode. Just treat a lead as if it's positive and negative. Nothing I've got my fancy soldering it. station set at 196 degrees centigrade for soldering these. Okay, I've tinned one side, put a little bit of tint on there and we're going to put the lead on there now. Once we've got one side on, that's the lead's holding itself, and just do the other side. So there we go, there's one lead on. Okay, we've got the three leads are in place with the saw cuts across, so we've got the um, the uh, positive side, the negative side, the positive side, the negative side, the positive side, the negative side, anode, cathode. I put a 1500 ohm resistor in here, and this is my um, track power from my DCC system. So we'll put one on there, and we'll put one up here, and we get the lights on. Now, if we reverse this, take this one and swap them over, it won't make any difference. The lights will still come on. Okay, I've added a fourth LED in here. And I've gone back to my little battery tester. Just a couple of leads. And you've got to have a resistor in line. So, let's just check that fourth one works. Yep, she's working. Those two are working, yep. Okay. Put it there. We're not getting any light. Nine volts is not enough to drive those four LEDs. I come back onto my DCC system. Whoop. I come back onto my DCC system. Connect up to the resistor. And we come down to the fourth, past the fourth one. I can get four going. But the 9 volt battery won't do it. You've got to have the voltage. Each one of these is drawing about 3 volts. So I've got a, just over 12 volts in my DCC system, 12.8. So I'm driving 4 LEDs. So there's 4 LEDs. So you want to do a coach or something like that, fine. Now I'll do another trick. Okay, now we've got 5 surface mount LEDs in there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we put this one down this back end here. And you can see that they just come on. But notice that the the illumination has dropped right off. It's sucking more power to drive the five LEDs. Now if I put it there, it's brighter. It's brighter again. And that's really bright. And just with one. Yeah. Okay, so just testing these. I've got five. This is on my DCC track. There's HOM3. I've got the five going there. I swap it over to the other track. Won't make any difference. It'll still come on. 
Here's a lead that I use for testing. It's just a tower lead, 2 mm tower lead with a uh, resistor on it. Put him onto the tracks. And we get it lightened up. Put it the other way. And it'll still light up. So this is DCC. Good one for just testing things.